It's been a record-breaking year of snow. Oh yeah. How's that glue, Trent? <laughs> and it's forced us to get pretty creative. Not that it matters. <laughs> <laughs> this garage build has become a wild adventure. Oh, hello. And even though the snow is beautiful, Hi, Lika. There is a small part of us asking, Yeah! Should we quit building and just move away? The snow is <laughs> overwhelming. <laughs> Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset Digging deep since night continued to snow every single day since then. Ah, but at least like it's coming, right? It's gotta be coming at some point. We are a thousand percent officially over it. It was cool for a while. I guess it's still cool, but I'm really excited about the summertime. <laughs> Now that we're nice and warmed up, we've built up some heat in our bodies. It's another winter weather advisory day. It's cold and snowing, but we are not wasting any time getting to work. We have a punch list of things that need to get done so we can have our four-way re-inspection. On our house and on this garage, I've ran all of the plumbing vents out of the eaves. You do have to do some extra stuff. You have to put grates in the end of them to prevent rodents and birds from going in there. But also they've changed the code. And if you're gonna have a horizontal plumbing vent, it cannot be a two inch pipe, it has to be a three inch pipe. So these are three inch PVC. We have two inch right now, so we've gotta cut all the two inch pipes off, pull them out of the eaves, drill the holes bigger, and then expand our two inch with a reducer uh, up to three inch and run that out the eaves. Why is it called a reducer if it's getting bigger? Shouldn't it be called an increaser? It's whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> That's so I, funny. Yeah. We're reducing it from two to three inches. You could expand it, you could reduce it, but I call it a reducer. <laughs> Lay down. Down. Good dog. Good dog. Everything's fine. Wouldn't expect any more from this. The situation's in line. Hello. What do you say, Trent? Well, we're getting ready to replace the exhaust for the water heater because we used foam core PVC and that is not allowed. You have to use solid PVC. So we got new PVC to do the exhaust for the water heater. And then we have to expand our vents for both of the uh, drain waste and vent to three inch right before it goes out of the building. No better day to do some drilling into the side of our building than when it's snowing and freezing outside. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it is a little frosty out there today. I don't ever spill the primer. Actually, I better not say that. <laughs> yeah, do not say that. <laughs> this might be the first time. This is where I grew up. 
How long did that take? Not long. <laughs> as soon as he opened it, I think he was thinking about it. <laughs> oh, ready then. Brand new can of glue. Big old fatty dauber. I know there's probably so many people that were like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that they're done with plumbing. <laughs> and here we are. We'll never be done. And we've got to plumb the exhaust for the water heater, which is also going to be a little bit of a bugger. But this is actually gonna be a little easier than I thought. I really just have to throw some glue in these two ends, put glue on those two pipes, shove these out the wall, glue them back on, and this section's done. Cool. And that was a big part of the list, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's that glue, Trent? <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. <laughs> That was called cat-like reflexes, my love. <laughs> what did you do? I dripped glue and I tried to dodge it. Oh, I just felt like you were about to jump off the line. <laughs> oh, I might do that too. On your feet. All over your feet. Quit dripping. That's what a Cory B does. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Drips. All right, we got our two three inch vents stubbed out into the eave. They're not stubbed out through the fascia because I'm gonna do that and put vent caps on them when I have a man lift that can get me 27 feet in the air on the outside without being on like a sketchy ladder hanging out over the fascia. In five years when the snow melts? Yes, in 2026. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've got these expanded up to three inch, which is exactly what the inspector wanted. That is all done, sealed, glued. I gotta tighten that strap back down, but other than that, that part's done. So now I'm gonna start removing the exhaust for the water heater. I'm gonna cut it into a couple pieces and uh, hopefully get it reinstalled with solid PVC, not uh, foam core PVC. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I'm just gonna knock some more. Strike it in the way now, folks. Now, everything's on my mind. We've taken off from left to right. You, you gotta understand. How can we do this? How can we repurpose this PVC pipe? French drain. I can't really think of a lot of use for a two inch PVC that's all glued together like this. All right. Can you? No, but I'm sure you guys can. If you have any ideas on cool ways to repurpose this so we don't just end up throwing it away and wasting it. Make a box car track for Leo's little yeah. cars. Yeah. If you have ideas, them up. let me know. <laughs> Well, we got it all glued and put together. Now I just got to do all the straps to support it and that will be knocked off of our checklist. Nice. Yeah, make progress today. <laughs> That's ticked off of our checklist. I still have to do the ducting for the fart fan oh, over nice. there. And then sure. I've got to do the drain for the water heater over here. This is going to be a little complex. So let's do the fart fan first. Let's do the fart fan first. Oh, look at that. good all right so we got our exhaust fan for the bathroom we got the ducting completely installed that was one of the other things we got to tick off of our checklist from the inspector now I think we're gonna work on our floor drain over there with the water heater exciting and then I think after that just the plumbing vents getting expanded to three inch in the man cave and I think Dean's stuff and cool. then the architect and structural engineer perfect why oh because there's a cap on it I forgot the other end was capped this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I'll hold this still. Just go slow. Oh, it's a lot of water. That whole pee trap was full. Yeah, Whoa. that didn't cross my mind until it was like pouring out and it was too late. <laughs> oh, hello.
All right, so we got this big four inch four four inch floor drain. We got this big four inch floor drain and it's gonna actually take the emergency drain for the water heater. It's gonna take the condensation drain for the furnace and for the air conditioner and give them all a place to drain into. That's why we made it a big four inch line even though it's only a one and a half inch drain. Um, it's just so I can get three PVC pipes to sit on top of it without them spilling over because on this platform, if any of those things drain and the water doesn't go down this floor drain, we risk them it running over off this platform down onto the drywall below, which would be absolutely horrible. We do not want that at all. We did also talk about having some type of drain pan right here um, as like a backup safety catch. Yeah, I kind of want to build like we should just some have type Dean... of little bumper system. Like when you go bowling, <laughs> they have the bumpers that pop up. <laughs> I need that, but for water. Not that it matters. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Wet mustache. <laughs> yeah, dirty water. All right. Here we go. The big four inch piece. Here we go. Come on down. Did it tell it's flat? I seriously hate glue so bad. <laughs> it is like, what ha the problem is that like you gotta take the glue, put it on the pipes, and then like you can't put the lid back on because you gotta hurry or else the glue will set up. So you always end up like trying to fight these fittings and get the pipes to go in before the glue sets up and you end up knocking over the can of glue because the top's not on it. That's their marketing plan. Seriously? They want you to someone, spill it so that you can buy more. Twice as much glue as necessary if they just had like a magnetic lid that closed <laughs> itself when you put the dauber back in. It's my fault 100%, but I'm still upset that it happened. Well, good news. <laughs> the good news is I got the drain in. It's like all perfect and glued and everything's sealed and it's great. Bad news is spilled half our glue. Minor casualty. Feels major, but <laughs> maybe it's minor. All right, so basically we just need to do our two outside outlets, one in the front and one in the back, and our H2.5s in the two additions. Cool, that's awesome. Yeah, so we we'll uh, blew try and, through that list. Yeah, we got to grab a couple of uh, fittings at Home Depot, those mechanical fasteners at Home Depot, tomorrow um and then we'll install those outlets and then just the stuff with dean and the architect and we're ready to go perfect getting her done we do have some spilled glue here we're gonna wait for that to dry before we peel that up that's probably the worst thing that happened today is spilling the glue hey but... man there's no use crying over spilt glue yeah that's a yeah nobody's crying <laughs> anyway i think that's gonna do it for us today we will see you guys in the morning We have got basically half of a day to work today. We've got an appointment down in the valley that we're gonna take you guys with us. And unfortunately, it's nice and warm here in the main part of the garage, and this is not where we're going to be working today. We're gonna to be out in the igloo, trying to replace those vents and expand them to three inch. Not to mention we have a bunch of brackets that need to go on all of the trusses at the wall. In both editions, we have some uh, hurricane brackets, so. Without wasting too much time, I guess we're gonna get to work. And then take this inside out, put it on here, and that will be for the fascia. Makes sense? Yeah. Okay. We got it. All right. <laughs> Ooh, is it warm in here? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. So the name of today's game is speed because these guys do not want to be outside in the snow and the cold for any longer than necessary. And it's gonna be cold. They have to do some drilling in the walls outside in the snow. They've done it before, so I have lots of faith that they can do it again. It's just how quickly we can make this happen. Put it inside. 
Brandon is going outside. He's actually gonna enlarge in the holes that our two inch uh, vents are going out of and he's enlarge? gonna make it. Enlarge? Enlargen? Enlargen? I don't know. I don't know. Sounds weird to me. He's gonna largenize our holes. <laughs> uh, he's gonna enlarge the holes from two inch to three inch so that we can fit the three inch pipe in there. And I'm gonna cut the two inch pipe out from in here so that we can remove those sections. And then I'm gonna build an elbow with a reducer that's gonna expand it to three inch and turn 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna go outside and we'll get his little uh, three inch stub pieces glued into those fittings. And this will be done. Hopefully we can make quick work of this because uh, it's cold out here, it's cold out there, and this is not a fun activity. When you try to line up a hole saw inside of another hole saw like Brandon's doing outside right now, it's just not easy, it's very difficult. So I'm gonna go out there and see if I can help at all, see if we can get these holes drilled. We already got the vents cut, so we just gotta get those holes enlarged and then basically we just glue some fittings together and. We'll be done, but it's gonna be difficult and it's gonna be cold. Oh, I'm not stoked about the snow out here. Oh, of course, it's like yeah. <laughs> see what I'm see what I'm working with now. And the teeth just like grab and do whatever they want. Yeah. If that inner one was a bit longer, so it yeah. would like sit inside there, it'd be way easy. Yeah. It's hard, like, now that it's all ground down around it's here, just I gonna, it's way more impossible. Yeah. Yes? Hey. What an easy. <laughs> Do you want to go get uh, a shovel or two? For the propane tank? We gotta dig it out. All right. You can't tell, but our propane tank is right there. We still haven't gotten the tank refilled at all, and it's definitely time to start shoveling that out. It's hard to even tell if you're in the right spot. It better be it. It better be, yeah. Trent dug this propane tank out maybe like two weeks ago. Not that long. And since then, there's probably like three or four fresh feet of snow that's already on top of it. Enough that we can't exactly see it. And Brandon is having to do a little search and rescue to try to even identify where it is. Found the lid! Oh, nice! Woo! It was the right spot. Wow, that is so deep. Yeah. That's how much snow's falling since last time we did this. Here, stand on the lid, or next to the lid. This Where is did... the top of the lid. Look to my waist. That's insane. Usually, once I start shoveling, I get some heat in my body. I'm not cold anymore. It's just so cold, and it's snowing so hard that no matter how much I'm out here trying to help and stay warm. I'm freezing. These guys have been out here for what, 10 minutes? And they're already covered in snow. Both of them. What are you doing, Lika? Whew. What are you doing? What are you doing? sunroom. All right. Brandon is going to do the deed. Like 28%. Oh, good. 27 maybe. Okay. It's not great, but it's not terrible. 
Zero. Better than zero, that's for sure. What? Getting close to the red. Oh boy. On the gauge. I don't know what that means. Low, very low. Hi, Lika. the piece stubbed out the fascia I'm about to glue the second one on and we can finish doing the glue fittings in here and we'll be done with that excellent Frozen? You made it. I made it. Oh my gosh. And we're done outside now, right? Uh, I hope so. Okay, cool. How's your perch? Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> One is done. Now we're just waiting for the glue to dry. Trent is gonna glue up the other pipe, stick it in place. Should be out of here in no time. A little stinky. Little stinky. Can't blame it on Lika this time. Yeah, different kind of stinky. Yeah, it's true. We've created a foghorn. <laughs> you hear that? I don't know if it came through on camera. Describe what it sounds like. <laughs> the wind blowing across these big three inch pipes is like creating it's like creating a foghorn noise. It sounds like a Viking warship about to go into battle or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sound means run. Yeah. Sometimes on our property we have Viking battle cries. We have poop horns. <laughs> <laughs> poop tube horns. The vent expanding is done. Check. Now we basically have to put hurricane brackets on all these rafters. Didn't even spill any glue. It's a successful day of plumbing for me. Does it count if the glue's already empty? <laughs> it's not empty, it's just it's close. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This isn't teamwork, this is brotherhood right here. Making it happen. Yeah. Get it done, you know? Yeah, real good. It is absolutely Narnia. I think we're supposed to get two feet today. That was the prediction. We've probably already gotten about a foot so far, so we'll see how much more we get. All right, Brandon is knocking out the rest of our hurricane ties in the igloo right now. I'm gonna run a wire out so that we can put a outlet on the front of the building here. The inspector wanted one in the front and one in the back, so I'm gonna stub those wires out then move the truck and get ready so we can do the hurricane ties in the TRX garage. And then we will be done with the checklist until Dean gets here. None of the snow was around their cars this morning. Probably about almost knee deep. This tractor had no snow around it this morning. It hasn't snowed this much this hard in a while. Cold hand, frozen feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory, a faded piece of history. No one can remember all the fun. Yikes. 
It is really coming down. Yeah. <clears throat> made a dent yeah it's hard to see where you did yeah there's never really been a time where we've ever felt stuck here we have the equipment and the tools that are necessary if we ever need help getting out we have the tractor to plow we've got chains a winch we're pretty prepared but I don't think I've ever seen conditions like this today it like, looks like it was snowing in here I know we're inside. The road has two feet of snow on it. This is like a spring storm. So they tend to be a little bit heavier and more wet, kind of like what they get in California frequently, mm. which isn't as good for skiing. And it's definitely not good for driving. <laughs> it's a really big pain in the butt. This side, done. Gorgeous. I got the wire stubbed out to do our GFCI outlets on the front and the back of the building. They said the back of the building at ground level or at grade level, hmm. which would mean like, this is grade level on the outside. So if they really want me to put an outlet, I can drill a hole and tap into that circuit and put it outside. But I put one outside the door because I think that seems more like feasible and functional, usable, yeah. functional. So I put a wire out there for an exterior outlet, one over here. That should suffice the uh, inspector's needs. Brandon's finishing up the hurricane ties in the other room. Should be good for the way again. We're making our way down to the valley. We were supposed to go climbing with Joel at three o'clock, but uh, winter conditions on our mountain, winter conditions on the freeway, a lot of traffic has caused us to be, uh, right now we're running 30 minutes behind schedule. We and, left an uh, hour and a half ago. We left an hour and a half ago. It's crazy. And it's like a 45 minute drive, so. Yeah, max. <laughs> it's been pretty gnarly today. <laughs> this boulder problem it's a v6 which is 
pretty difficult. And uh, Joel just made it like 80% of the way and he used the wrong hand and he fell off and that's what I did a few tries ago, but he'll get it. He's doing great. We just had one of the gnarliest days and a lot of it wasn't really caught on camera. So. I don't think we filmed any of it. <sighs> the snow is overwhelming. <laughs> Long story short, we had an amazing time uh, climbing with Joel, but off camera, getting down to rock climbing and getting back home from rock climbing was, I think, the hardest commute of our entire time living up here so far. I mean, it was just, it was, it was a struggle. Yeah. And the wind and the snow made it low visibility, so. <laughs> Had a little bit of a stressful day, but uh, I think this is probably where we're going to let you guys go. We did make quite a bit of progress. We're basically ready for our four-way reinspection once we get the plans, and then a couple things that Dean has to do, which in our next episode, Dean should be coming back to give us a hand. But I'm starting to think we're going to have to start shoveling snow off of these roofs because... Yeah. Yeah, it's there's piling a, up still and it's not good. There's a brand new house that was just built this past year on our mountain whose roof just caved in yeah. because the snow load is unbelievable. Yeah. So we're going to have to start taking that into consideration here. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this adventure, make sure you guys show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Summer is coming, guys. One day. Keep your fingers crossed. We and love you. We'll <laughs> see you guys on the next one. Adios. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind.